Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld 1.0. Welcome to Microton. It's a pretty nice little place. Little little swood spot, if I do say so myself. Sure, we don't have a an actual kitchen yet, but we got a nice little place here. You know, I'm gonna finish our little recreation area over here. We might end up blocking this spot off over here and turning it into a kitchen. Just so that we could put a little butcher area in here, but I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I have not decided. I'm kind of digging the idea, though, now that I said it. Like, I could, you know, move one of the lights inside. Just get rid of this light completely. And then wall up over here. Have a door on each side. Put a table on the outside. So that people could walk in, grab a food, walk out, and eat. Could work. Could work. Dirk's going to cut some more stone. We got all the carpet in here, so the flooring is now done. It's actually extremely impressive at this point. Minor passion for my work. Somewhat impressive dining room. Impressive barrack. I mean, it's getting better. All right, it's getting better before it's getting worse. Don't worry about it. We don't have a place to put this woolly flamel egg, and I'm not... I mean... Oh, I thought we had some eggs that were going to hatch soon. Well, I guess I should probably make some kind of eggery. That's what you call a place where you store eggs, right? An eggery? It's fine. Not even mad. Senpai and Sylvia are heading back home. They uh, brought with them an OC defense pistol and a couple of sand squids. Which are just neat. <laughs> I think. They apparently can fertilize the land that they walk over. Not entirely sure how that works. But that's how it's supposed to work. Blocked by trees, blocked by trees. Yeah, I'm gonna need to... Get all this... Blocked off I want to intend, if I intend to keep using it. So... Let's pick some kind of flooring for over here. I was kind of thinking just regular wooden ply boards, but they have a negative beauty to them. We do rough planks. That's a zero. Problem with... Really, the problem with doing planks, though, is that, you know, it's flammable. You do soil, it does taste like dirt. I mean, this is already soil. That's the problem. You can't really soil over soil. We could do the tiles, which we're planning on doing for the flooring anyway. So, that might make the most sense. To just surround all this. With ye old slate tiles. Would I be able to tile over? I should be able to tile over here with no problem. I mean, Dirk's going to make sure it happens efficiently anyway. There you go. We'll see how that does for us. Slapping it down as we speak. Epicosity's failed to calm Trillium down. He's in a bit of a funk. Don't worry about it. He'll be okay. So we're trying to grow coffee and tea and gooseberry. This should be good. So we got like a proto little satellite colony going here in Microton. We got Nag over here and the independent wild woman. She just kind of hangs out here. She's fine. She's eaten recently, so not too much to worry about. I don't know what she's eating, but she's eating probably our mushrooms that are laying around on the ground. I mean, to be fair, it's my fault for leaving them laying on the ground. There you go. Now even at night, we're uh, generating plenty of power. Dude, there are apple trees around here? There are 44 apple trees around here? Get us some apples. Literally free apples. Hell yeah. See, I was, uh, 
I say his. Let's see how Dirk's AI is doing. 70% talking up, consciousness up, research speed up, global learning factor up. I mean, it's pretty dang cool. I don't remember where that other AI was. Was that was it a Winkler? I don't know, but I feel like we should go and try to find another one soon. Because they seem to be really awesome. Apparently Dirk has decided he's going to be the one to get us the apples. Melee attacking Dirk Dwipple. I see that you've made the decision to make a mistake. I don't know how that worked. Life support system is researched. So now we can make life support systems. Let's make some bigger cannons. Isn't there... Yeah, I'm on manned ones. Let's learn how to make those. 20 millimeter flak 38. Manned. And then you can make an unmanned version. Cool. I like the sound of it. Rampaging ass weasel. Okay. So now we have learned how to make a, should be a miscellaneous a life support system. Let's the surgeon easily bypass the need for vital organs through a plug and play system. Give your colonists the extra time they need or be used to harvest everything from a hapless victim. Substitute the need for any organ except for the brain. What? So you could use that in theory. Nice and infused helmet. Humming steam tech. I don't know if you want a humming helmet, but okay. That's I guess that's why it ups psychic sensitivity. Very nicely made though. I like the fact that we're passing around these helmets. You could set up a life support system, put a prisoner on it, and literally harvest everything they have. I mean we could grow organs, so that seems really unnecessary, but still. So Epic's got a helmet. I see. Hydraulic's got a helmet. It's only 99%. What happened to it? I got a helmet. I got the humming one. Because of course I did. Ryder's got a helmet. Van Howe's got a good helmet. Boy sw swiped up the decent one. Pepsi's got a helmet. Pepsi doesn't really need a helmet. But it's okay. We'll live. We got an order to make, like, plenty of them anyway. A slurry Pete is pregnant. Alright, what are you doing, Dirk? Oh, you're still harvesting apples, I see. So this place has a sandstone road running through it. And a bridge that's actually complete. Who's the jerk ass who built right on the road? What an actual dick. Remove the roof over here. Clear out the road, dude. What do we got for weapons over here? We got an OC defense rifle. Uh, Ironheart is rocking a steel mace. So we could probably send something better for that. Chicken's not much of a fighter. He's not anti-violent, but he's not great. And both Rumo and Dirk are rocking some chain shotguns, which have... I mean, this thing has been a little bit of a monster. First shot of three, and of course it's, uh, it's a shotgun, so it shoots pellets. Several of them. I'm just wondering if we can take this on, whatever is down here. Or whether it's going to destroy our colony. Maybe we'll check during the day, the next day. Actually, before we check, Hydraulic is experience and inspiration. But before we actually check, maybe we should wait and make an Alpha Poly weapon. We have 88 Alpha Poly right now. We could make an Alpha Poly spear. I feel like Ironheart should probably have an Alpha Poly weapon is where I'm getting at. A Gladius is pretty good, but I think a spear is better. A longsword is technically one of the best weapons you can get. Or you can make, I should say. I don't think an Orion Core Pacifier... I don't know how much it helps to have that... I don't know. Honestly, when it comes to... When it comes to these kind of weapons, it's probably better... 
to have a small weapon. Like, like Reynold has. Dude, we can make a beta poly knife? Yes. 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 Top priority. Yes. I want a beta poly knife. If we can get a better one than what Reynold already has, his is good already. If we get one better than good, I'll give that to Reynold, and then this one will go to Ironheart. That's amazing. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, that's fantastic. For the most part, uh... Reynold's pretty covered. Torso, neck, shoulders, arms, legs... All covered. Only things that aren't are his hands, his feet... And his ears and eyes, I suppose. Well... You just make yourself feel worse, dude. Trelly, we need to stop. <laughs> All right, dude's gonna make us more stone chunks. See, now he gets to sit here for at least two milliseconds, <laughs> get a little bit of comfort going. He's Angus's master. Is Angus even? Angus is not here. Oh, oh, now you want to name this place? So it's not gonna be Microton anymore. Well, Dirk. You think it should be named? You're a bot with a 70% AI? You give me a name. Banwell? Hey, Taco? What? Hovey? Sayworth? Rockland? Binwit? Hintus? Salt Flat? Ridaisa? Does? Dice City? White Spoo? White Spoo! Really? No. No, Dirk Dwipple. You do not get to call my city White Spoo. Especially if you're a nude bot. It's not okay. Alright. Jeez. I was actually kind of happy with Microton. It's like the opposite of Megaton. Yeah, we're going to keep calling it Microton. White Spoo. You've insulted me for the last time. At least the comfort goes back up relatively quickly. Good, good, good. Excellent. Gore! Sylvia. Out of defense. Pepsi cannot calm down the rampaging Trillium either. Rusty's Vomit. Rusty Shackleford. Prefers to Rusty and Michelle becoming lovers. I love it! It's called Rusty's Vomit, and it was it's made by Michelle's ex. Beautiful. I I, I kinda want to send that over as like a present. But I feel like it's a little too much. A little too on the nose, you know what I mean? There you go, extremely impressive Barrick. I don't even mind sharing it. It's what I needed. We need some art in here next. So I tell you what, let's get what we need to make that happen. Automated fire control system. We can now make FCF computers. Necessary to make unmanned turrets. Which we can't make them now because, well, we don't have the stuff for it. And by unmanned turrets, it means the cannons, I'm sure. But, like I was literally just saying, let's make a uh, sculptor's table. Get some art going over here. Normal, at least, please. All right, what about over here? How are we doing on computer components? Nine out of 25. It's coming together. A slurry peat is pregnant. Shadow's gonna go eat a bowl of stew. It's pretty great. Remus needs some of that armor. We're making it. He's gonna get it. But in the meantime, maybe he needs some other upgrades as well. Not the architect eyes. Those should go in... Should that go in Dismas? He's got these advanced bionic eyes, which are already amazing. 
I don't think you can do much better than that. Architect eyes should probably go into one of our surgeons, to be honest. Like, Vasilla with a couple of architect eyes would be amazing. I believe we only have one. But, I mean, wouldn't she hands down be, like, the best person to give this to? Yeah, I only have the one, right? Yes. Let's do that. What else am I sitting on? Advanced Bionic Leg. Advanced Bionic Eye. Yeah, I don't think we need... Additional of those in anyone yet, but Rima should eventually get some upgrades too. And we have the materials to make them. I mean, he's already got the weapon. Beta Poly Mace. Doesn't seem like much, but it is. Oh my lord, it's still gonna take like 3,000 work. Alright. He'll make it, and he'll make it right. Oh, that was fast. Revenge. A prairie. Cool. How's this little room? Probably awful. Somewhat impressive. Alright, this one's awful. I thought the devourer came back to life and I was gonna be upset. I forgot that I named him Chicken Cooper. I am... I am a pathetic man. How much silver do we have? 3,000? That's probably just our starting silver. We have more laying around. Let's make a couple of silver sculptures. You know? They may not be the best. But they'll be good. No, you're still doing up the uh, slate. I see what you're doing. Don't worry about it. Your secret's safe with me. Alright. I mean... And he's done! And it's good! <laughs> A vast blue fireball. It's a meteorite falling down. I just wanted some art, okay? I'm gonna throw an art here, I'm gonna throw an art here. And if you thought this room was swooed before, oh, it's about to swoot up hard. There's the other one. It's a cat. It's poor. Uninstall it. Try again. 750 out of a thousand? Not bad. Make me the sequel to Cat. Cat 2. Kitty Boogaloo. I mean, his skill does climb relatively quickly. He's a capable amateur now. Poor. Alright. We'll try one more. One more, and then we'll just give up on life. Alright, you can do it. I know why it's taking so long to render a second map image. It's rendering this one! Excuse me, took a drink. And it's taking it forever because it thinks I want to take the whole freaking image. No, I want from here to like here. All right, there you go. That'll speed that up. Come on, Dirk. Here we go. It's normal, I will take normal. Cauliflower, beautiful. Cowboys suspended in the air playing roulette with several mallards. There you go, 151. And a thunderstorm. 156. I like it. We are we have a lot of wealth in here. We got a lot of beauty. We have a decent amount of space. And it's getting even cleaner. Because Jeb's cleaning. Who'd have thunk? 
fantastic room. I think it'll actually be better if we uh, do this up here. So let's un let's get rid of this. Install this one over here. We're gonna close off the kitchen, like I was saying before. I'm actually gonna want an auto door here. There we go. Let's put one up here as well. There we go. Like I said, it might even make this room look better because all this stuff will be gone. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before and I will continue to be wrong in the future, but... Right now it's at 157. Almost done with all the planting. Ugh. This is all part of home area, by the way, as is this. In fact, this should be the shape of our home area. There you go. So we're at 157 right now. Walls are going up. It's not hurting the size yet. We've made all the marine helmets we we're going to make over there in Ragamuffin City. Okay, doors still have to go up. 158. And divided. Still 157. Did not hurt this room a bit to make it smaller. And this is still a slightly impressive room over here, but yeah. Cool. So next, I'm going to want places to eat over here. So we're going to whip up a couple of small tables. Like here, here, maybe like a super small one here. There you go. Want them to have their own dining chairs. We can put chairs on both sides. I'm cool with that. Like so. And then quality. Try to be good or better. Oop. Boom. All right. And with that done, we can actually put down some butcher table in here. And by some, I mean A. Butcher table here. And then a stove. Right here. Along with a couple of stools. For your sitting pleasure. I don't know if these will actually make the room any better. It might actually bring it down. Because it's taking up space, but... I still think it's a good idea. Jeb's probably going to have to be the one to build all of these. Which is fine. Kind of wish I had chosen a different floor in here. Because the wood is like too similar. Now that I'm looking at it. It bothers me. I literally just remembered that I didn't build that extra transport pod. What a time to remember that. Oh, Vasilla, you got an architect eye. Cool. I didn't forget. What? Alright, butcher table. Sweet. Throw down a kitchen cupboard over here, and we got everything we need, don't we? Bulk goods trader from the Olinur Amalgamation. Hi! How y'all doing? You know, I don't have a place for you yet. Let's slap up a trading spot for you guys. Um, for now, how about... How about right here? Come on in. <laughs> Might as well. Dirk, nearly crushed by falling objects. Exciting. Right now he has a place to just relax socially. Allows you to research and build the unmanned variant of large auto cannons. So we're getting there. Nothing new yet. But we're gonna learn how to auto cannon. Like a champ.
Alright, so now we can make food. Which helps, because apparently we've had we had seven days worth of food. Uh, butcher creatures forever. This is obvious, shouldn't have to tell you about that. Leather scrolls, huh? Just make them out of leather. That makes sense, too. Rain oh god, Reynold started a social fight with Terillium? Um... That's dangerous, needless to say. Does this actually train melee? I hope it does. Yes, it does. Gotta ooh, take credit where credit's due, you know? A headbutt. A headbutt from Reynold into a high-powered leg. Dude, Trillium can't touch him. Just dodge, dodge, dodge. Missed with a back from his head. Reynold tried to bite him. What? It's like Terillium doesn't want to actually hurt him. Or Reynold Rain doesn't want to actually hurt him. Alright, well, that happened. Apparently I named Chinchilla 23 Pandemonium. That makes sense. That some, seems like something I would do. I'm guessing they don't like each other. They do not like each other. Cathartic fight, though. That actually helped the relationship, according to Reynold. Slighted, insulted, harmed me. Staggeringly ugly. Killed colony animal. Jeez. Filthy meat bag. He thought the fight was cathartic, too, though. There was a fire. Now there's not. I can't believe Trillium's the only one who got hurt out of that. That was a heck of a fight. And by a heck of a fight, I mean a lot of dodging. My god. Alright. So we finally have a traitor. I don't think we have anything good for him. Hey, this did actually improve the quality of the room. It's 159 now. A love for Dirk Dwipple. Dodging a cave... A cave in. Solitary doctor sitting on the a table near Bramble. And chicken. The scene takes place inside of a hamlet near a tributary. It is engraved with the image of a solitary town counselor near a hamlet. Very nicely done, guys. So now we can butcher. I don't know. Do we have an actual good cook here? We do not. Literally nobody here is a good cook. There's a visitor. Shrew Kemi. Hello. He has a squid leather jacket. It's pretty great. Welcome to Ragamuffin City. Which I would also quantify as pretty great. Don't worry about us. We're just uh, trying to assemble some computer components. We don't have to make any more magnetic coils for right this second. Which is going to change once I put down uh, this impaction charge. I mean, it says it detonates on command. I kind of want to put it over a... Uh, over one of these, just to see what happens. Put it right... Put one right here. This one's electromagnetic. So it doesn't really do much for me. We should also consider making some of these large shield generators soon. Oh. Well, that's not good. Who's our best socialite? It's chicken. But is he really? Let's find out. Negotiation ability, 77.50. Trade, 7.5. Social impact, 95%. Compare that to old Dirk of Dwipple. 47, one point, yeah. Actual skills matter. It's your own hashtag. We'll check for quests and stuff. Let them wander around and dirty up our room. Like a bunch of savages. Okay. I think we need to move the components over here. In fact, all manufactured things can go over here. Uh, no manufactured things should go in here except for... Nah, get the medicine out of there, too. It's a kitchen. Should be for food only. Spreading bandit camp. Roaming mechs. Mystical shaman. Peace talks. Eh, yeah, let's see the roaming bandit camp. Or spreading bandit camp, I'm sorry. They got dogs. Yes, they do. They got dogs. How about we? Great devourer meat. Oh, God. 
delicious. Here, take it, please. Putting that under the things I don't trust to eat category. Want well, steel? I got plenty of it. This isn't even all of it. This isn't even my final form. Uh, insect chitin, you can have it. Cloth, I'm keeping. They have chocolate. They have mining explosives as well. They have a pumpkin lantern. You can refuel it with wood. Huzzah, a titanium chandelier. Small weapons rack. I mean... You definitely have things. So, that's cool. But, I don't want what you got. I want one of them HC1 shields. But anyway, yeah, that's fine. Sold a little bit of meat. It is what it is. And honestly, that's all that it is. And you know what else it is? It is the end of this episode. So that's going to be it for this episode. If that plays RimWorld 1.0, if you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming and it won't stop coming. So next time, folks, this is Microton. This is Ragamuffin City. And I am Thet. And I will see you in the next video.